Okay, uh, good afternoon, my beloved family and dear friends. Here's the lowdown on my video visit with my doctor today at 3, well actually it ended up being like 3.30, but 3.20, something like that, he was running late. Good news, a CT scan I took late um, Monday afternoon um, of my chest, my abdomen, and my pelvis shows no cancer anywhere so that's fabulous news not in my prostate pancreas lungs um uh liver uh abdomen areas you know uh, uh whatever's in your you know abdomen your liver your pancreas you know whatever that kind of thing so no cancer that's good that's good news really good news doesn't give me permission to keep smoking, though, I realize that. I can't go, well, some, some people do. You see these old people sitting at the blackjack tables in Reno. And they're 90, 90, 90 plus years old, smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol. And they've probably done it their whole life and can live and die probably a horrible death. But um, I've been smoking cigarettes since I've been 16 years old. And uh, quit for two and a half years at one point, but picked it back up many years ago. And I know it doesn't give me permission to keep smoking. I'm thinking seriously about quitting. I have the patches, I have the lozenges, and I have the Chantix uh, tablets. Um, I did take blood work two weeks ago and had a video visit with my doctor two, uh, about a, a, a week ago. And no diabetes. Uh, my thyroid and everything in thyroid, everything checked out perfectly in my blood work. Um, so blood work came back A-OK. -okay. Uh, CT scans, plural, of my chest, abdomen, and pelvic area came back positive, uh, negative, which is good. Uh, that's good. Um, no, no, nothing anywhere. However... My doctor does believe firmly that I have pneumonia uh, because um, there's a spot on, on my, one of my lungs. Not a spot, but some in inflammation. So I'm going to be leaving here shortly to go to the pharmacy um, to pick up some antibiotics, which he wants me to be on twice a day for two weeks. So, and he wants to see me in person. In uh, in three weeks at his office, so I'm gonna. They're gonna call me to schedule a um, office visit with my doctor, a general practitioner, um, general doctor, general general MD, uh, to uh, go over things. He also said, um, you know, even though I'm only eating one meal a day, I mean, I eat pretty freaking healthy. I mean, when mom comes over here, we get food to go. We eat pretty healthy. I mean, I, I don't even remember the last time I had McDonald's. It was probably been over a year. Um, so I don't eat a bunch of crap. You know, I eat pretty good. Um, but I only eat one meal a day. And he had said, you know, to me, and I agreed with him that maybe during the, the day, I during the afternoon, I have to force myself to eat a little something and then have dinner with mom. Um so I'm going to be trying that. He also told me to switch, since I don't have diabetes or any sign of that, to switch to sodas that I drink. I, now, I've kind of replaced my alcoholism with my, with my soda addiction. I drink Diet Cokes with no caffeine. I mean, with caffeine, but with no sugar, no calories. And then I have my other sodas with no caffeine, no sugar and no calories. So I drink caffeine-free sodas and I drink caffeine sodas. So he told me to just get regular sodas with sugar. So with the sugar, uh, maybe that will be able to put some weight back on me. Um, as that's what he said, what he recommends. He also did say a week or so ago when I had a video call with him, uh, about my blood work, he said uh, that nicotine does curb your appetite. And, you know, for the past, I don't remember how long, maybe past 
four years or so, I've been chain smoking, and I know that's not good. But one after another after another, I just gotta fucking stop that. You know, have one or two, and then and take a break for. You know, I mean, I'm not even gonna tell you how many packs of cigarettes I smoke a day. You'll, you'll just be jazzy scratching. Uh, you just be uh, beyond yourself. <laughs> Too much. Too many packs of cigarettes a day. Anyway, um, so uh, I'm really going to consider stopping the smoking. Eating another meal a day. Two meals a day instead of one. And um, drinking sodas with caffeine. I'm sorry, with, with sugar. With sugar. With sugar. And hopefully that will put some weight on me. Um, I weighed myself... Um, Nine days ago, I was at 157. This morning, I weighed myself nine days later at 153 today. So, I'm 5'9". My ideal weight is probably 180 to 175. It, I look, I think I look good, pretty pretty good. Um, and I'm the most skinniest slender I've ever been in my entire life um, at 153. Even when, way back in the day when I was doing coke. Um which I've been off of for 27 years. Um, I wasn't even that skinny. But anyway, just wanted to give you all an update. And um, thank God I have Melinda, my dad, and my higher power watching over me. And um, got to give them some credit. My prayers, your prayers. Thank you, my prayer warriors, to everyone who said a prayer for me, or prayers, plural. I truly, really and truly appreciate each and every one of you. So, God bless. Um, I'll just close with this. Make today count. Make your attitude gratitude. Get it how you live it. And remember, smiles are contagious. All right, you take care. I love you all. Bye-bye.